the devil card. Watch them grow, perceive devote. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow. This month is a great month to make your mental health and your own personal emotional healing a priority. And for some, this may mean finally deciding to start seeing a therapist. And for this reason, I've partnered with BetterHelp to assist you guys in finding a therapist that's right for you. With all of the chaos, confusion, and uncertainty going on in the world right now, coupled with our own personal daily struggles, now is definitely a great time to talk to someone who can not just be a listening ear, but can also help you with the what, the hows, and the whys that you're experiencing what you're experiencing. So if you or someone you know and love is going through something right now and feels the need for a little more help, I stress that you guys take advantage of this resource. Hello Aries, welcome to your July 2020 reading. I am Princess India, if you are new and if you are family, welcome back my friend. So in this vicinity, you should see me shuffling your cards that are on my desk at present, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into these puppies. So you guys, overall energy for the month is Whale and Orca Elders, Share Your Song, Frequency of Sound, and Deep Diving. Now, what I get when I look at this Aries, this would infer to me that uh, more or less all of the challenges and obstacles that you guys face in the month of July are going to be centralized around you guys speaking a truth or communicating your truth or aligning with your truth in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And I feel that the purpose for this is um, doing this with the intention of drawing in what's really for you. Um, with the entire collective and the theme I've seen with pretty much all of the readings, just about everyone is in um, a crossroads kind of position. So it's electing between two paths, one path being the one that you've been on up to this point that uh, may not be in alignment with your highest authentic self. And then the other path would be the unknown, which would be something that's more in aligned with your authentic self. And I see the same thing for you guys in your cards as well, because uh, your central energy is the devil card. This is challenged by the Knight of Wands. Your past influence is the Two of Swords, and that's how you guys are coming into July from June. Your underlying energy is the Four of Cups. Your above energy is Justice. Going forward into August, you guys have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, a pen just fell off my desk. And under you guys deck the why all of this is happening is the Knight of Swords. So Seeing the why all of this is happening in accordance with uh, what's crossing you guys for the month of July um, lets me know that you guys are in opposition with yourself. What I mean by this is it's uh, an unction, it's an urge, it's a desire to get out of a situation or to make this choice you guys are trying to make. Um, but I feel that the, the biggest issue with this, or trying to find a compromise or a balance in between the two, if you will, but I feel the biggest issue with this, and I saw this with another sign, I can't remember who it was, but um, it's like a coping mechanism. Typically when people um, who have trouble making decisions, right? Like, yeah, I mean, you could be indecisive by nature, or um, it could just be this particular situation is a very hard choice. Um, a person will get so riddled with anxiety with making the choice that what they end up doing to kind of um, release all of the pressure that they're under is um, being impulsive. Like they'll just jump and pick anything. You know what I mean? And uh, I guess like the silliest example of this would be like you're shopping for cereal and it's like Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. And then it's like, someone's like, hurry up, hurry up. And you're like, eh, eh, I don't know what I want to choose. Eh, eh. So some people too will just say, forget it, I don't want any cereal. And some people will just impulsively just grab something. Either they'll impulsively grab one of the cereals without thinking about it, 
or they'll pick something that they weren't even looking at just to break the monotony. And that's the same energy that I'm getting with this Knight of Wands as your challenge and the Knight of Swords as the why all of this stuff is happening. Because with this challenging the devil and this being the center of the spread, it's almost like a test, if you will. Whew. And with this Justice card, it gets even deeper because that kind of goes into the whole thing I, that came up in Taurus's reading. Um, I was talking about this vision I had in 2019 with Libra's reading with the whole uh, like dark cloak figure person and all that good stuff. Uh, and that came up again. Um, but the whole key with this is it's, it's choosing with what's in alignment with your heart space. So if we were to go really, really deep spiritually on this, um, it's a huge decision that you guys are making. But the decision that you're making is a judgment of yourself. So it's more or less, if we were to think about this in the illustrative sense, it would be like spirit telling Aries, hey, come sit on this throne and you be, you know, justice. You know what I'm saying? You sit on the throne, you look at your entire life, right? Or, you know, whatever. Your entire life. And, and you say what should happen from this point. It's like, look at all of the choices that you made. It led you to this point. Are you happy with those choices? Do you feel that the choices that you made warranted, um, you know, the proper effects? Is it really what you desire? You know what I mean? And this is something similar that came up before. I don't remember if this was like in March or something, but a similar theme came up before and it's more or less about seeing if the choices that you've made up to this point, if it has created the life that you desire. And if it hasn't, it gives you an opportunity to choose again. Yet, with making this choice of what path you're going to take or who you're leaving behind or what you're going to go towards, what you're going to go away from, right? Um, it's more or less the test in the midst of this is this impulsive energy. So I feel what the whole purpose of this reading for Aries is telling me is that in the month of July, there's an opportunity that's offered to you all, right? And it's something that kind of comes in unexpected, right? Because you're kind of on this path and something else comes up. The thing that's coming up is very much in alignment with something you would want or something you would desire. However, whenever you're in a position that you really didn't expect or if you're riddled with fear or anxiety about moving forward right or you're just really aggravated with the situation that you're in and you just want to get out of it right the test is to make sure that you're not impulsive and don't fall back into old behaviors right whether that be impulsively choosing or disassociating with some form of addiction or something like that. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like drugs or alcohol, but I mean, it could be any, you know, maladaptive coping type of thing where it's overeating, uh, shopping, or just completely numbing out. It's the whole thing is here is that you are the person that's in charge of this challenge or this experience that's coming up for you guys. And I'm staying kind of broad with it just because I feel with this, it could literally be anything, you know, it could literally be anything, but I do feel a heavy energy of, uh, like, you know, how I said, some people may just disassociate and not make a choice at all. Like just say, forget it. I see a lot of that, <laughs> like kind of taking this two of swords, this devil, in this Knight of Wands and uh, this Knight of Swords into account where, and it's almost, that's what creates a burden on Aries back is that either you're saying too many yeses or you're saying too many no's and you're picking up stuff by default. And it's almost like all of this baggage you guys have picked up by default by not making a decision it's kind of coming to a head at this point because it's almost like being so buried or so involved or giving so much of your time or energy into stuff that has nothing to do with you or has nothing to do with what it is that you really want to do where 
it's blocking you manifesting what you really want. So it's like, you can't put energy into what it is that you really want to do or what you really want to manifest because you're wasting time with stuff that isn't even what you want because there's an inability to say no, you know, or because you're saying no too much. It's some sort of extremism. So when it comes to the actions that you guys are taking, and what it is that you're putting your energy towards, right? And everything it is that you're dabbling with at present, you know, it's more or less a need to take a step back and really reevaluate with this justice card. Because something is coming in that you guys want, but it's like you don't have the room to take it type of deal. It's kind of like, and this is another silly example, um, like, uh, and, and this is something that I talk about with um, people that I work with. Like sometimes people will ask me um, my opinion on being with a person you really don't want to be with, right? And dating other people. So it's like, you've already realized that the person that you're in a relationship with isn't the right person for you, right? But you don't want to be by yourself. So you'll date other people while you're with this person until you meet the right person. And then the idea is like breaking up with that person. I call that monkey barring. You know what I mean? It's like you're holding on to one monkey bar and you swing to the other one when you get a good grasp on that one, then you let the other one go, you know? And I don't agree with that. And the reason why is because I feel laws of attraction speaking you're going to attract what you are, right? So technically, you already know the person that you're with isn't right for you, right? But you won't break up with them. So they're holding space in your life, but you're looking for someone else. It's dangerous because you can end up attracting someone who will do to you what you're doing to that person. Even if you think the person that you're with is a jerk, it's like you've inadvertently turned into them by default. So by laws of attraction, you'll attract someone that is doing something similar already or will eventually, if that's making sense. Because it's like the seed that has been planted, it's going to produce a tree of its own kind, if you will. So I say all of that to say that this is what and not saying this is literally what Aries is doing, but I'm saying vibrationally, that's what this energy feels like to me. It's like you guys are holding on to something you know isn't for you, right? And trying to go in the direction of your dreams, but can't figure out why you can't get a good grasp on that next monkey bar. You know what I'm saying? And it's because this dead weight is holding space in your life and there's no room for this thing to come in. So the big issue in July is going to be that spirit is giving you guys an opportunity for something or something's just going to come out of the blue. And depending on what that is, that could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be money, a chance to move a new house. It doesn't matter what, but it's something new that's coming in. And what could happen here is what happens when you guys end up in situations where you don't know the future you don't know what to do. So this is really giving you an opportunity to break a bad habit because if you fall into old behaviors, you'll end up doing with this situation what you've done every time before when you're faced with a decision that scares you or something that you didn't expect. But the way out of this is channeling this energy of the justice card of weighing it between um, a head or heart type of thing. It's like, what does your heart really want? What's really in alignment with you? Like what speaks to the, the song of your soul, if you will? And if you follow that thing and you're honest about looking at all the choices you've made to this point, and if it hasn't created the life that you want, you're being offered an opportunity to create the future that you want going forward. So it's just a forewarning not to fall back into bad behaviors, my friend. So. Aries, that's what I have for you guys for the month of July. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going over to Patreon, Vimeo, my website, <laughs> and YouTube members to do you guys extended. So if you're about that life, follow me over there. But if not, I still love your freaking face, my friend. And I will see you guys soon at the later. Deuces. Yeah.